This is the Vet Voice Podcast from Veterans for America First. I'm Jerry Craig, host of the podcast, and I have the pleasure of speaking with Mayor Andy Ogles, who is running for U.S. House of Representatives, Congressional District 5 in the state of Tennessee. So first, I want to say congratulations to winning the primary and invite you to share with the voters of your district and all listeners and uh, a little bit about your background. Yeah, well, first off, thank you, uh, you know, for for having me on and allowing me, giving me this time. And and my apologies, I'm I'm in my truck. I'm going from point A to point B, and but that's the nature of a campaign, right? But uh, it was a crowded primary, a lot of great candidates. Uh, I won by eleven. Uh, this district five is a pickup for Republicans, uh, and so this is one of the plus ones we need to to take control of the House because it's a takeaway from Democrats because it's now in our district. But you know, my name is Andy Ogles. I just finished my term as mayor of Murray County, fastest growing county in the state of Tennessee, uh, booming residentially and economically on jobs and job creation. Uh, prior to that, I was an entrepreneur. I uh, also worked for uh, Coke Industries, Newt Gingrich, and, and uh, was the author of the largest tax cut in Tennessee history. And so I, I know a thing or two about economics and policy. And, and at the end of the day, I was the America First candidate. Uh, we stuck to our message. We outworked our competition, which is why I won the primary. So being on the America First uh, agenda, the people of District 5, as you've gone through the district and spoken, I'm sure, 100 times, what are the main issues that you are hearing from the voters that are deciding their vote? Yeah, you know, it's the same issues that are really dominating across the country. And what's interesting, whether it's a Republican district, a swing district, or even a Democrat leaning district, it's the same issues. It's the economy, it's inflation, it's crime, it's immigration, and it's fentanyl. I mean, our, our southern border is porous. It's wide open. China is flooding America with fentanyl by the way of Mexico. And it's made every small town in America a, a victim of an open border. Well, one thing that I've noticed from the candidates, that it's, it cuts across all states. When we talk about America first, we're talking about the economy. We're talking about inflation. We're talking about a functional government factor. But are you hearing any of the social issues coming in as as the the left is trying to push social issues? I see as a smokescreen. But are you seeing that the social issues are starting to bleed into some of the Republican voters or some of the swing voters? Not really. In fact, again, kind of going back to what I was saying early earlier, Republican district, independents, leaning Democrat districts. People in those districts, including this one, trust Republicans on those issues we just mentioned, like the economy, like inflation, like crime, like securing the border. And so that's why you see this kind of smokescreen, as you mentioned, by Democrats is because they really can't run on those issues because they failed America. Look, under President Trump, we had a booming economy. We had uh, jobs galore. We were, you know, the, the envy of the world because of our foreign policy and our strength. And now all of those tables have been flipped over. And that's why I'm running for Congress. And we stuck to that message. And that's why I won the primary. And, you know, I think, you know, we're working hard, uh, which is, again, why I'm sitting in my truck. We're taking nothing for granted, but I expect to win this race and go on to serve the people of Tennessee and the United States and right this ship. Well, Veterans for America First, we're so happy to endorse you. We want to give you the most airtime that we can, and we want you to, to get to D.C. And if there are people in your district who want to know more about you, where would they go to find out some additional information about your platform or you, your background? Yeah, so it's real simple, andyogles.com, A-N-D-Y-O-G-L-E-S.com. You can find me on Facebook, uh, andyogles.com. Uh, we're fairly prolific on uh, Facebook and Instagram, so you can find us there. But look, go to the website, check us out, send us a question. Obviously, campaigns cost money, so if you, if you have the ability to contribute, do that too. But at the end of the day, no matter what, please go vote. Early voting starts next week, Wednesday, and runs for about two weeks. And then we have Election Day just around the corner. And I would be honored to have your uh, vote and support. And I thank you all for your endorsement.